Hey, Lepavoni people, John Houck here. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about how much uh, pressure um, you need to generate when you push down on the lever to brew your coffee. So, um, uh, as you know, when you brew coffee, uh, water fills the group head and you grab this lever and you push down. And you push down at some amount of force to push the water that's in the uh, group head through your coffee grounds uh, into your espresso cup. And a lot of uh, people wonder how hard should they push? And that's a tough question to answer. Um, I think the, the, the most uh, uh, pragmatic answer is um, press as hard as needed to generate a wonderful tasting cup of espresso. And that's really all we need to say about it. Um, some people are a little more scientific than that, and they uh, want to know exactly, and they want to gauge to see how much force they're generating. Um, and uh, I guess the counter to that would be, um, well, you can kind of feel how much pressure you're creating, but then again, um, is it nine bar? Because some people say you need to have nine bar, or maybe others say five bar. So um, uh, what the um, La Pavone uh, scientists out there have created is a thing called a pressure profiling kit that you can add to your uh, La Pavone, and it consists of a pressure gauge, obviously, uh, an adapter, um, a shaft that goes down here. They replace the, your piston shaft and actually replace your piston inside. And you also get a new fork. And let me show you what your product looks like. Before that, you've got this nice rounded fork. And uh, when you get the pressure profiling kit, uh, you get a different fork. I actually think you get a, a shaft too, or a, a lever. Uh, use your existing handle, and uh, but the rest of the parts you replace. So let's take a peek inside uh, what this looks uh, looks like without uh, the pressure profiling kit. Uh, one thing to point out is the bottom of the piston uh, is uh, solid. Um, your shaft is solid, and um, this pin right here that goes through your um, whoops uh, that goes through your um, uh, your shaft goes all the way through. Um, your your piston shaft. So um, that's just kind of setting up the problems that they're trying to solve when you put a uh, some kind of hole through the bottom of the piston to run a hole all the way up to a gauge up here. You've got a couple obstacles in the way. So let's look at the pressure profiling kit. Uh, what they do is they give you a new piston with a pinhole at the bottom. That then runs up a hole through the new piston shaft um, through uh, an adapter and into your gauge. And there's a little narrowness on the shaft that they give you here. And the reason is because they can't use a through hole, but they do need a screw. So this new fork here has got a threaded uh, piece to it. So that way the screw can go in and that screw enters partially into your piston shaft. And, uh, but not all the way through. Um, so, but to make room for that screw to stick in there, they needed to narrow that down a little bit. Um, other than that, basically what happens is uh, water and air and steam uh, provide pressure uh, going up this pipe, and then that's sensed by the gauge here. And so if you're pulling a shot with the pressure profiling kit and you're pulling down on the lever here, um, then you will see that needle go up to 3 bar, 4 bar, 5 bar, 9 bar, 10 bar, depending on how hard you push and how much resistance is being offered by the coffee grounds you have. So this is what it looks like on a um, on a Generation 2 machine. Um, let's take a quick peek at uh, Stradivaria. Um, and so Stradivaria is basically um, uh, very similar inside, same piston, same hole, same shaft. Um, but what happens on the Stradivaria when you add this is you kind of lose your nice looking Stradivaria curved lever that goes away and you get this kind of straightness, but it gives you the gauge and allows you to see what uh, force is required to make your uh, make your espresso at nine bar if that's your goal. Um, hope this was helpful. Talk to you later. Bye bye.